Hey there viewers! I eat honey every day and this is what happened to my body. Few things in nature are sweeter than honey. There are seemingly endless ways to enjoy its lusciously delicious taste. From adding it to a bowl of oatmeal at breakfast, to slathering it on a peanut butter sandwich for an on-the-go lunch, to mixing it into a homemade marinade or barbecue sauce at dinner time. But honey is more than just the sweet treat. So what happens to your body if you eat honey every day? Continue watching this video to learn more. What is honey? Honey is a sweet syrup-like substance that bees produce from the nectar of flowering plants. The bees collect the nectar and then consume, digest, and regurgitate it inside the beehive to produce honey. Honey is stored in wax-like structures called honeycombs, which are gathered by humans through the practice of beekeeping. Many types of honey are available, differing based on the plant source, the extraction method, and whether it's raw or pasteurized. Common types include clover honey, avocado honey, buckwheat honey, sage honey, eucalyptus honey, orange blossom honey, alfalfa honey. Number 1. Helps your body fight free radicals Honey is a rich source of antioxidants. But the quantity and variety of antioxidants in any individual honey depend on which flowers the bees fed from beforehand. But what exactly do antioxidants do and why are they so important for good health? As Livestrong detailed, antioxidants are chemicals that protect the body against damage from free radicals. Free radicals are highly unstable atoms of oxygen that try to steal electrons from other molecules in the body. This destabilizes the molecules and creates a chain reaction that leads to damage throughout the body, a process known as oxidative damage or oxidative stress. Substances that produce free radicals can be found in food and in our environment, and free radicals are also created as the byproduct of natural chemical processes in the body. Antioxidants are able to give free radicals the electrons they want without becoming destabilized themselves. Before we move on, a like would be awesome. Number 2. Improves your cholesterol High cholesterol is a big problem in the United States. An estimated 93 million American adults have a total cholesterol level greater than 200 mg per deciliter, and approximately 29 million of those individuals have levels higher than 240 mg per deciliter. In addition, 18% of adults have an HDL or good cholesterol level below 40 mg per deciliter. High cholesterol doesn't have any symptoms, but it's a risk factor for heart disease and stroke, both of which are leading causes of death in the United States, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. If your cholesterol numbers aren't what they should be, swapping out regular sugar for honey could nudge them in the right direction. Number 3. Lowers your blood pressure Could honey really improve your cardiovascular health? In a 2011 study conducted on rodents and published in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences, researchers found that honey reduced systolic blood pressure, the top number of a blood pressure reading and the pressure in the arteries when the heart contracts, of diabetic rats. The study authors credited honey's antioxidant content for this drop in blood pressure. Honey lowers blood pressure by reducing oxidative stress in the kidneys. These organs regulate blood pressure, so the inflammation and tissue damage caused by oxidative stress can send blood pressure skyrocketing. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, approximately 45% of Americans have hypertension, defined as a systolic blood pressure of 130 or greater, or a diastolic blood pressure the pressure in the arteries when the heart is relaxed between beats of 80 or greater. Having high blood pressure greatly increases your risk for both heart disease and stroke. Number 4. Improves your stomach health You may have never heard the word gastroenteritis before, but you're probably all too familiar with this unpleasant condition. More commonly called the stomach flu, gastroenteritis is an infection of the digestive tract caused by viruses, bacteria, or other germs. Abdominal cramping, vomiting, and diarrhea are the hallmark symptoms of gastroenteritis, and the infection usually clears up within a few days. Though anyone familiar with the joy of using the toilet and a trash can at the same time will agree that's a few days too many. Dehydration is the most common complication of the stomach flu. While you may not feel like eating anything when there's a risk it'll soon be reappearing out both ends, research has demonstrated that honey can shorten the duration and severity of the stomach flu. 
Number 5. Weight Gain Sugary Food A single serving of honey has 17.3 grams of sugar and 64 calories after all. Sugar packs on the pounds in two ways. First, sugar, like other macronutrients, contains calories. 4 per gram according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Eating more calories than you burn leads to weight gain. Second, sugar can influence hormones that affect weight. The body deals with the sudden spikes in blood glucose that sugar causes by secreting insulin. Insulin allows glucose to be used by cells but also causes any unneeded glucose to be stored as fat. If you eat large amounts of sugar long enough, your body becomes resistant to insulin's effect and your pancreas has to secrete more and more insulin, leading to weight gain. Number 6. Quicker Wound Recovery Long before the advent of modern antibiotics, honey was used to heal wounds and prevent infection. Hydrogen peroxide is the primary component of most honeys that gives them bacteria-killing properties. But some forms of honey have different, more powerful antibacterial and anti-inflammatory compounds. Manuka honey, for instance, is made from tea tree flowers and contains a potent chemical known as methylglyoxal MGL. Individual Manuka honeys receive a unique Manuka factor UMF rating based on their concentration of MGO and two other compounds, dihydroxyacetone DHA and leptosporin. To be classified as therapeutic or medical grade, a Manuka honey must have a UMF of 10 or greater. The healing property of honey is due to the fact that it offers antibacterial activity, maintains a moist wound condition, and its high viscosity helps to provide a protective barrier to prevent infection. Honey may be even more effective than conventional treatments against antibiotic-resistant germs. Topical honey is an accepted treatment for burns and wounds including ulcers, bed sores, and surgical incisions. Number 7. Improves Your Skin Health in addition to making you healthier from the inside out, honey may also make you healthier from the outside in. It appears to have some real benefits for those with certain skin conditions when applied topically, thanks in large part to its anti-inflammatory properties. Psoriasis is a common chronic skin condition that causes red scaly patches of skin that can be painful and itchy. It's likely caused by a malfunction of the immune system that causes cells to grow faster than normal. Psoriasis tends to occur in cycles, and certain factors can trigger a flare-up. These include skin infections and wounds, both of which honey can help with. Honey may also be useful for those with atopic dermatitis. According to the National Eczema Association, atopic dermatitis is the most common form of eczema, a skin condition that affects 16.5 million American adults. Like psoriasis, eczema is a chronic skin condition caused by an out-of-whack immune system. Atopic dermatitis causes dry skin that's prone to itchy rashes. In both cellular studies and clinical trials, honey appears to be an effective treatment for atopic dermatitis rashes. Number 8. Boosts Your Brain Health Honey is considered a nootropic, a substance that can improve memory and other cognitive abilities. The paper noted that consuming honey early in life aids in the building and development of the entire central nervous system, leading to improved memory, greater intellectual abilities, and reduced anxiety later in life. Honey may also protect brain cells from damage caused by ischemia or insufficient blood flow. The anti-inflammatory properties may also provide some protection against neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's. Honey has a particularly noticeable effect on the cells of the hippocampus, a region of the brain associated with memory formation. There are a number of flavonoids or plant compounds in honey that contribute to its ability to protect the brain and improve cognitive functioning. These include apigenin, catechin, crisin, elagic acid, myricetin, and quercetin, among many others. Honey also triggers release of the neurotransmitter dopamine, which can improve mood and mental performance. It's important to note, however, that honey's brain-boosting properties are based on research conducted on animals, so it's unclear if it has the same effects in humans. Since honey has been linked to health benefits like improved heart health, wound healing, and blood antioxidant status, it is better to replace your sugar with honey. Let us know what you want to learn next by leaving us a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel.
Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.